in the three wins against Denver, they, they came by an average of four points, which says they're close games and you guys did little things right. When you look back, I know you weren't part of all of them, but when you look back, uh, what were those little things that you guys need to continue? Uh, like you said, you know, I was part of the, uh, the last one when they came to the Staples Center, but you know, they, they've been close games. And I, like you said, those little things, you know, just a rebound here, a loose ball there, or, you know, boxing out a guy, or making an offensive play. But you know, in the playoffs, it's going to be a lot of little things, and we just got to, you know, be consistent for 48 minutes, really, and just take care of them all, you know, during the course of the game. What has Kobe told you about the importance of winning championships with this organization? Oh, I mean, he didn't have to tell me. You know, it's, everybody knows that this is what they do around here. You know, and it's the reason why they got 16 banners hanging up. It's one of those things we just got to take it game by game, series by series, and you know, see what happens at the end. Beyond just making your first uh, playoff appearance with the Lakers, what, what is it like for you to finally get into the yeah. playoffs for the first time in your career? Oh, it, it's a check off my career. You know, it took me five years, but I'm here now, so it's something I could definitely check off. And it's an honor. Some, you know, some guys play a long time in this league and don't get get to the playoffs at all. And, you know, to be with a team that's Knowing for getting to the playoffs and knowing for winning the whole thing is, is, is that much more important. Are you curious to see how the pressure? Are you curious as what the pressure is going to be in the playoffs? You talk yourself, what's this going to be like? How are you going to react? Because you really, you really don't know. No, I don't know. But you know, we got a few games down the stretch where it was kind of playoff atmosphere. Yeah. But like you said, you never know until you step out there tomorrow at 12:30. Probably one of those things I'll be, you know, anxious to get up in the morning and get it started. How did you know throughout the course of your career, how much have you been? How conscious have you been of? Not in the playoffs. There's something I'm not experiencing. Uh, all the time, you know, like right now, going home and just watching the first round. But now it's one of those things where I'll be watching. But in the meantime, I'll be getting ready to gear up for the game tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon. So it's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Are you your match? Yeah, uh, definitely heading back home and not 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 in a uh, basketball type of environment. Kind of you know taking time off watching it, but it's going to feel good to be participating. Hanging with friends at that point, or are you just with your dog? Oh, uh, hanging out, doing something besides, you know, in the NBA arena, but definitely glad <laughs> that I'm in the arena now, still with the uniform on and looking forward to it. Ramon, with the position that you're in, there's there's a lot of pressure on you as an individual right now on this team. Uh, how do you kind of manage that going into game one? Oh, uh, just play basketball. You know, it's, it's it's the playoffs, but it's still you know 48 minutes on the clock. You know, still a basketball game. Just go out there and just just play basketball, <laughs> get guys shots, and you know just do what you know take what the defense gives you. How's your shoulder feel? Oh, uh, shoulder's good, 100 percent. How did everything feel after you took the pad off last week? What, what kind of effect uh, did you see that have? Yeah, it was a little it was a little shaky just knowing it wasn't there, that support wasn't there, but you know, that's why I tried to do it a couple games before the playoffs just so I can get that feeling intact in my mind. But it feels good now though. Now, you're obviously defending Watson in this series. What what have you learned since you came here just as far as taking all coverages and what you guys ran out of there? Uh definitely learning a lot. You know, it's a lot different than what I ever ran before in my career, definitely different than what I had in Cleveland. Some adjustments have been made, but it's, it's something that we're learning, and hopefully, you know, we have it right for the playoffs. Well, what's the approach on him defending him specifically? Oh, I mean, just defend him. The guy, the guy, you know, gets to the rim a lot. You know, the guy's explosive off the dribble. Just, just being in front of him at all times, really. I know. I mean, he obviously has different capabilities of either being a scorer or being a passer. Is there an ideal approach to take in terms of uh, definitely, the one area? Uh, yeah, definitely just being a scorer. I think he's more of a scorer than anything, and just, just, just being consistent, just being in front of him at all times. Is there anything the team's doing? The Clippers are all throwing out beards. I mean, is there anything that you guys are doing to kind of? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing anything. We're trying to win games, really. It's not one of those things where guys are all going to their house. No, it's not even. Just, just don't take it like another game. And, you know, just, just, just hopefully at the end of the day, the journey, you know, is at the top. With you finally in the playoffs in Myrtle Beach, officially a Laker town. Oh, man, it's been a Laker town as soon as that trade went through. But definitely, you know, they, they're getting around, you know, at the local bars now and getting ready for this playoff run. Hope so, you know, but I know they'll be watching, you know, as soon as Sunday comes. You know, I brought my local neighborhood a TV in, in the little shop. So they're going to all be gathered around watching the game for sure. Really? Yeah, yeah. Where at? It's uh, called Wagon Wheel, who I grew up at. So it's one of those things. They got the uh, playoff banners going down, Lakers stuff all around. It'd be fun for them. So you talked about this being fun for you. I mean, when is your first time?